Talking with people who live around the arts district, some said their apartment complexes parking lots only could fit about 25 vehicles. They all agreed they needed the space, but didn't think it would come with a price. Financially speaking, yeah, I mean, no one who uh, lives down here obviously wants to pay for parking, but certainly not if the expectation was that you wouldn't have to pay when you moved in. Back in April, the Las Vegas City Council announced the installation of parking meters would begin all around the Arts District with an average meter on a busier street averaging $2 an hour. The city says the funds from the meters will go towards building a parking garage in the Arts District. Still, residents say they weren't aware of parking changes or how they would be impacted by the new expense. They were free. They've always been free since I've been here and now they put this machine here and you have to pay for parking. The city council declined to respond but referred us to their website where an explanation reads, our goal is to balance the demand to support the district to make parking more convenient for everyone. Though the city may have the goal to make parking more convenient, area residents say they're finding the complete opposite. 8 a.m. I believe till 10 p.m. So after 10 p.m. you can park for free, but you got to be up early in the morning by 8 and move your vehicle. Just it's getting to where tenants are kind of getting savage with each other because now we're all battling to park. Some residents even told me they will consider moving. I'm hoping that it won't come to that from a, a long term perspective. The city is just being a little uh, too greedy because you know you're inconveniencing people that actually live down here and that enjoy living in this area. And in addition to the metered parking, the city has added 500 new parking spaces in lots all around the district. They will be providing security escorts to and from those locations. For more information on that, visit our website, ktnv.com. But for now, reporting live from the Arts District, I'm Kay McCabe.